Okay guys, uh, many of you will remember when the Osprey first came out, uh, I did get one of the first 9mm versions. Uh, when I went to my dealer and mounted it on my Beretta M92FS, we found out that the half by 28 threaded piston was too short on the Osprey and when you rack the slide out of battery the uh, recoil rod would hit the can. I'll demonstrate what I'm talking about here. This is the standard length piston here. Actually, it's already hitting it. As you see here, you can't even thread it on all the way. If the slide's back. I'll go ahead and shut the slide. Thread it on all the way. And when you go to rack the slide out of battery, you're shit out of luck. However, going back to one of my previous videos about Silencer Co's customer service, I contacted Josh when I got home and told him the problem. He uh, promptly told me not to worry about it, that they would redesign it, and they would build an extended version. This one is significantly longer than this one, and I'll show you. Take out the standard one here. New one on top, standard on bottom. As you can see, it is a lot longer. They named it the, uh, they laser engraved it half by 28 XL, so you can tell the difference between your other one. A fixed spacer on it, cam ring. All right. So here is the extended spacer with the or uh, extended piston with a fixed spacer. You can tell it sticks out a lot further. Go into symbol of the suppressor. There you go. Let's see if I can do this with the camera in the way. Plenty of clearance. There you have it. Let me get a good picture there. Plenty of clearance with the new piston. So I believe this is probably one of the first, besides the one they tested, uh, civilian-owned suppressed Beretta with a uh, new Sounser Co. Osprey on it. So, let's go back and see how it sounds. Alright, Osprey 9mm on a Beretta M92FS with a reduced power recoil spring. Osprey's using the fixed, uh, fixed spacer so there is no booster spring in it. Uh, shooting uh, Remington UMC 147 leadless ammo. Uh, weather conditions are rain 
very humid. It's about 88 degrees outside. Shooting into a bulletproof vest with a archery target behind it and a steel plate behind that. So I've been inside the house, came back out, finished this review a whole maybe five minutes later and there's still gun smoke escaping the can. So definitely lots of volume inside these things. See if I can get a good shot here. Well, so it looks like the Osprey ran 100% uh, without the spring. So it does have a, the Beretta does have a reduced power recoil spring in it. I believe I just went down one one pound. Um, we did have significant echo from the waterlogged woods, uh, from bullet flight sound and uh, impact on the Kevlar. But other than that, it sounded good. Um, to me, it sounded just like the USB SD and Glock 19, so which is good. So it didn't sound any louder. Um, nice combo. So I uh, just want to thank Josh again for uh, putting forward the time to uh, go through the R&D, to especially during uh, development of new rifle cans, to take the time to bring a longer piston to the market, so uh, customers like myself and others can uh, enjoy the Osprey on multiple hosts. That's all.